So it's like a potato mash, green peas, tomatoes, tomatoes, uh, onions, bell peppers, <laughs> and a lot of spices. <laughs> this one's spicy. Yeah. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Jersey City at Journal Square, also known as Indian Square, Newark Avenue. This place is famous for their Indian community. Lots of incredible Indian restaurants here. Today I have the pleasure to be taken around by Nikita, a huge fan of mine Hi. from Chennai. Hi. Amazing, Hi. this is incredible. So she wrote me on Instagram, she told me we have to come out here with explore this area. So what are we gonna eat here? So we'll have the pav bhaji from Honest, we'll have chaat from Mithas, we'll have egg, different types of eggs from Egomania, we'll have biryani from either biryani pot or bawarchi and ended up with pan. Ended up with pan? Yeah. Amazing, so lots of energy. Yes. So there's all veg, obviously if you wanna go non-veg, there's a lot of chicken places, so they also have some chicken biryani here, there's some supermarkets, there's a sweet shop, and you can buy clothing as well. Yeah, clothing, electronics, jewelry, gold, and you name it and you have it here. And this used to be the biggest Indian community in the Western Hemisphere, but that sort of changed recently because most people are moving down to Edison, New Jersey, which I'll be going to tomorrow. I can't wait for that. But right now, let's start. I'm hungry. Let's I can't go. wait. Let's go, let's go. So you have Ganesh Chaturthi coming on. Uh, that's a birthday of Ganesh, Lord Ganesha, and it's day after, and it's pretty huge in Indian community, so all the temples are going to be decorated. So you don't know who Lord Ganesh is, or, you know, God Ganesh is the one with the elephant face, yeah. right? And so it's uh, Shiva son yeah. something happened they cut off his head then he went out and he found an elephant put yeah. the head on right something yeah, that's, like that that's right. That's so, <laughs> so right here we have Ganesh hey how you doing my friend what's up man <laughs> our first stop is honest restaurant here we're gonna have Pav Bhaji Pav Bhaji yeah and it's really famous it's made with Amul butter the real Indian butter and right here before you enter the restaurant you have the menu right so all the Pav Bhajis right I had this in Mumbai. Yeah. Really That's good right. in Mumbai. Mumbai street food. Then they also have some dosas, Bombay chats, so chats like more street food. Oh, everything looks amazing. Let's go. So this is how they started in Ahmedabad. Uh, it was a hand cart, pulled hand cart, and then they started growing to different countries, and now they are in US. And this is Honest Restaurant, so it's like an Indian diner, fast casual, and we're sticking to the pav paji. So we're just going traditional, regular, so it's a vegetable curry, a lot of tomatoes, you have some potatoes in it as well. You have uh, onions, you have uh, green peas, you have different vegetables, it depends from place to place. Some mm -hmm. add cauliflower, some add bell peppers, so it's it varies from place to place, but here it's made fresh, and that's their USP. That's the curry, and the next two you have two pieces of bread, which is the pav. Pav, yeah. Pao. So it's a pav, it's a soft, two small buns, and that's to be eaten with the pav bhaji. Perfect. Ten dollars? Yep. Let's go. All right, so this is it. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say. I mean, it's, you got to really read it. Yeah, it's pav. Paji. Pao Paji. Yeah, that's right. That's Perfect. Pao yeah. So, so nice fluffy bread. bread. Paos. These are called paos. Mm -hmm. This is the paji. You have onions and lime. You okay. can just sprinkle it and then dig in. That's it? Yep. And then we also got some mango lassi. Yeah. So this is to cool down the heat because we have Indian spice. spice. Yeah, Indian spicy I'm pao so bhaji. excited. <laughs> Me too. You add some onions. Okay. Perfect. And we'll add lime. Makes it so you have all that ghee. Is it ghee? It's butter. It's butter. butter. Okay. Wow. Can I just try it? Mmm. It's it? spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Mm hmm. So we just grab a piece of fluffy bread. Bread. And. Um, so you just break it off like that? Break it off like this. Okay. And you can take a spoon okay. and scoop it. In. No scoop. And Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Spicy. Mm. Yummy. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Nice vegetable. Like pasty. Pasty. Know? A lot of butter. Mm hmm Creamy. Oh wow. It's so creamy. Yeah. Oh. It's all the amal butter. I love the bread. And it's crunchy. Mm hmm And soft at the same time. This is incredible. incredible. I don't even think I've had a this good. In the US? Oh, in the US, never. <laughs> US, this is, this is the place to come. Yeah. You want to? Get the and spoon? Just, and just have a bite of... Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's tasty. Mmm. And this is pure veg. Pure veg. 
Oh. They make it even without onion and garlic on request mm -hmm. for people who are Jain. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, and one thing that you know, I've been converting a lot of people to Indian food, and they get blown away when they learn it's just pure veg. Yeah, pure veg. They're yeah. like, how is that possible? Because it's so tasty. Tasty, and it has all the right amount of ingredients at the right <laughs> quantity. But it's spicy. It's spicy. It's yeah. like real spice. Yeah. So this is I how the it. Indians eat the street. It's a street food in Bombay. Let me Bombay. join you. Let me join you. Just grab it that, right? Yeah, just grab it. Oh, look yeah. at that. Mm. It has a tanginess of the tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting hit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should try some lassi now. Mm hmm I'm gonna finish this whole thing. <laughs> so it's like a potato mash, green peas. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, onions, bell peppers. <laughs> And a lot of spices. <laughs> this one's spicy. Yeah. So they have a house blend here and mm -hmm. they make their own spice blend and okay. that's why it's spicy and it's fresh. Mm. It's so good. If you like like pasty tomato paste yeah. with vegetables, I think you'll love it. Obviously don't go with the Indian heat unless you love spicy food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's how you eat it, right? Yeah. Break, dip, and eat it with your hands. Mm. I think I have to limit this because we still have a lot to eat. Yeah. And this is what you're supposed to drink, you know, after a really spicy meal. You know, or, you know, you're on a really hot day in Mumbai, you drink this. Lassi. The only thing is it's so thick. <laughs> <laughs> so it fills you up even more. It's not like amber so thick. Yeah, it's you know? not, yeah, but it's thick. It's, it's still thick. thick. Because I've had variations where it's like crazy thickness with like crumbles. Yeah, right? the malai and everything. The malai and everything on top. But this one's uh, a little more watered down, watered right? Down, yeah. But then there's some versions that are super watered. Watered down. Yeah, this is a. It's somewhere in there between. Mm, I think I gotta get a little more. <laughs> One more bite. Yep. Mmm. Wow, what a delicious spicy meal. Yeah, to start with. Mm. So this is a Mumbai street food. staple. Yeah, Mumbai street food. The hard thing in Mumbai is you eat this, but you have to be standing up eating it. Yeah. You know, like it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Oh man. Maybe next place we'll have to tell them to tone it down. No, no, no. Are you sure? The spicy the better. <laughs> I am pretty full, but we still have a lot of places to go to. Egg mania. They have a lot of Indian variety eggs, like uh, Surti Gotala, which is a favorite uh, Surat street food. And you have Volcano Biryani, which has an egg in between, and it's really tasty, and you should definitely try the spicy one. I'm trying all of them. All of them. Egg spicy biryani. Yes. So here we are at Eggmania, and we'll try all the different kind of varieties of egg, and let's start. My man, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Very good. So what are we doing? What eggs are we doing? Something from Surat, right? Surat? I recommend you the Surti Gotala. That's the one of the famous dish from Surat. And the another, it's a biryani. It's called Volcano Biryani. We're gonna do those two. Yes. That's, that's perfect. perfect. So I'm in the back seeing how they make a few dishes. Over here, they're making some masala, right? So you have the onions. He put some oil in there. And then over here, he's making some eggs. And he made something called paneer burji. Right? Paneer burji. So it's like a mix of like herbs, some vegetables, and then paneer, which is cottage cheese. Incredible. Over here, we have the eggs. Lots of eggs. In Surat, I heard it's a street with all the eggs. I gotta go there one day. One day I'll go. Okay, so we have two dishes. I just watched them make both of them. What is this one? So this is called Surti Gotala. Okay. It is shredded boiled eggs with lots of butter and spices, yumminess. And yumminess. <laughs> it looks like a thick, thick. pasty, again, you yeah. know, you have to use bread, yeah, obviously. You have to. It's a toasted bread. Okay, then so you just break a piece. Break a piece and then. just scoop. Mm -hmm. Sink all the so, butter and And when she egg. says a lot of butter, you put like a big yeah, block. block. For this one bite. One bite, <laughs> yeah. And then you just... Mmm. Spicy. Mmm, a little spicy. Mmm. Yeah. So I'll say like it's a nice scramble egg with paste, you know, a few different herbs in here. Herbs and... Mmm. Let me try like this, okay? Mmm. -hmm. Oh, nice and oily. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting spice. Yeah. I didn't feel it before. But like the more bites you eat, you're gonna feel the heat and... Mm -hmm. It's gonna be more spicy. And a super filling dish. Yes. Like it's so thick. So thick, it has butter, it has eggs, and it's just going to fill you up. Right I've away. never tried this before. So is this from Surat? 
Yeah, it's from Surat. It's uh, a street food in Surat, like a place where you get all egg varieties and it's a specialty there. <laughs> it's spicy. I feel it, but I need some more. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna say is that this is probably one of my favorite scrambled eggs ever. Got it. But I heard so many good things about Surat. You know, I went to Ahmedabad in mm -hmm. uh, 2018. And everybody's like, how can you not go to Surat for so, yeah. the eggs? And I'm like, eggs and next the time. Locho and everything, you need to go to Surat. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The street food there is amazing. This is amazing. This is so like, whoa. Funny. I mean, I love the textures, right? Yeah. So it's a big mix here. Yeah. A, a little slimy too. Yeah. Right, like Because that. of the butter and the egg. Yeah. Look at this. If I eat this whole dish, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'll have one more little one, but I gotta say, I'll rank this again like top egg dish ever. That's great. Mm. I'm glad you loved it. Mm. Okay, so before we get to the volcano biryani, which looks like the best biryani of all time, <laughs> we have uh, like cacao? It's, it's cocoa. called cocoa. 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 Okay. cocoa. It's take cocoa powder with milk. It's sweet, it's, and it's served chill. I mean, basically like a chocolate milkshake. Yep. Mm -hmm. And on top, you can't see it from it's, there, but you have, you the, have the pieces shed, of chocolate. Shed. Okay, so how do we eat this? So you have to mix okay. the gravy. Wow, just mix it throughout? Yeah, throughout, so that you get it's evenly spread out. Whoa. And this is so unique, you know, I've eaten Indian food so many times, first time trying this dish. Yeah, it's, it's a speciality over here. So. Wow. And then you have the omelette dough in here. Yeah, so the omelette's at the very bottom, right? Yep. Just so you break it up. Break it up. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Another super buttery dish. Spicy. Spicy. Really spicy. Mm -hmm. And the flavors are really. I love the flavors. So obviously this is not your traditional biryani. Yeah. There's something else. They just it's just made like this. a mix, maybe say a pulao, and with gravy and omelet in the base. It's amazing. It is so unique. Nice flavors. Lots of heat. Yeah. Lots of heat. Mmm. Eggs everywhere. Yeah. It has boiled egg. It has omelet. And. So the omelet's at the very bottom. Yeah, it's in the very bottom. It, that's the base for okay. the. Okay. Right there, and, and you get some more of this. Some of the rice and gravy. The gravy is like all throughout. The spice though, the spice is it's intense. It, it's intense. You can feel the butter mm -hmm. here as well. The butter, the whole thing is butter. Yeah. Like another big block of butter. Each one has that. <laughs> yeah. So lots of butter, lots of eggs, nice gravy, yeah. and just. No, infinite eggs. Yes, here. infinite eggs. Wow, so Surah is the place to go if you want to eat eggs. Yep. I should be done with the tour, but. <laughs> no, we, no. Need, we need one more. We need to go one more place. Oh. That's hot. Maybe two more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so it's a different type of rice here. Yeah, it's, it's basmati. Basmati? It's basmati rice. Mm. This is perfect to cool me down. Yeah. You know, nice and liquidy. This is the ultimate. Hundred percent. You gotta try this when you come to Jersey City. Yeah, have you to. should. Egg menu. But yeah, I mean, I think this is the spot you yeah, have to come. You to. have to. You shouldn't miss. You have the same thing in paneer as well. People who don't eat eggs. So that's good to know. So if you're veg, obviously you switch it up. Yeah, they'll switch it up for you. Same way with the surfi gotola. It can be made with paneer as well. Oh, that thing is just like heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, so bro. Much, Thank bro. you. Amazing. Thank Amazing. You, nice Loved it, man. I'll come back for those eggs, bro. Thank I'll you come so back much. for sure. Back. Next time I'm in New York, I come back to Jersey City. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. Namaskar. Let's go. So, what is this place? So, uh, it's more like a department store which sells all puja items and spiritual items, and they have all kinds of gods and goddesses. So, unfortunately, they don't want us to shoot inside, so we're gonna keep going and see if we find some more food. Where are we going to next? Next, we'll go to Matas. It's a chat place. They also sell sweets, Indian sweets. We'll have their uh, save puri and uh, yeah. raj kachori. I've had both those dishes before, I love them. But I don't know how I'm gonna do this. The food, the food <laughs> come on in right now, and it's called uh, metais. 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 
This is Metas. Every restaurant we've gone to today has a different layout, right? This is more like a bakery layout. Yeah. As soon as you walk in, you have a bunch of tables. I think it's 20 because they have all the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over here, they have all the sweets, lots of sweets. So the guy said, we'll get you the Raj Kachori, but instead of getting the Sev Puri, let's go with Ras Malai because you have to try a dessert here. So we have Ras Malai here, which is like a mix of like cottage cheese, cottage right? Cottage cheese boiled in milk and soaked in milk at this place, and it's a specialty here. This is my favorite. I'm this over Gulab Jamun or Raz Gula every day. Every day. This is so good. It's sweet. Yep. And then right here we have Raj Kachori, which is like potatoes, a big, huge, huge puri. puri. And it is stuffed with potatoes. It has sweet chutney, it has mint chutney, yogurt, save, and some cilantro. Amazing. I had this in the city of Jorhat in Assam. Okay. And it was like a big one like this, big a monster. One. Okay. I mean, look how monstrous this is. Huge. So, how do you go into this? So, yeah, spoons. Break. Oh, and what I love about this is it's gonna be a little cold, right? Yeah, oh, so you if see you it. see the stuffing here, mm -hmm. and just break. Just break. So Cheers. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. Mm. It's like the mm. ultimate refreshing chat. Yep, it's sweet, it's cold. Mm -hmm. It's refreshing. It's crunchy. Crunchy. It has everything. It has everything. So many textures. Yep. Mm. If you didn't know, and if you don't know about Indian cuisine, you probably think this is a dessert. Yeah, but it's not. No. Nah. It's it's a chaat. It's a street food. Oh, it is so unreal. Love the stuffing, right? So yeah. it's like potatoes. And you got some has, lentils, right? Yeah, it has green uh, beans, mug beans. Mm -hmm. It's soaked and mashed. Look at this. I'll it's say so every good. dish I've had so far today has been mind blowing. Mind blowing. Yeah, they're all amazing, yeah. and obviously. The difference is the people who is doing it, right? Yep. Yeah, they're all locals. Uh, most people here, like, born in India and moved over. Yeah. So yeah. a few are like that, and a few are second generation. Mm -hmm. So it depends from place to place. Take away from me. Oh. <laughs> Take it away, I'm serious. <laughs> you sure? Oh, it has um, mm. chickpea as well. Mm -hmm. So chana. Chana. Mm. We gotta finish this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, before I get to that, I'm gonna have a few more bites. Yep. You have to come here and try this. The one thing you have to try here is this. Yeah, Raj Kochori is, is the best thing in Mitaz. And it's really fresh and refreshing. I think it's also because I haven't eaten this in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Uh, once you, you go back to India, maybe you'll feel that. Yeah, yeah, better. exactly. Are you ready for dessert? Yep. I know I am. Everybody I introduced to Ras Malai fall in love. Everybody, my parents, love it. my cousins, yeah. Oh. This sweet dish is just, it's addictive. Yeah. It is truly addictive, cheers. Mmm, mm. so it's like a huge, you know, cottage cheese, like, it's like a, not meatball, not, yeah. like, it's like in that shape, right? Yeah, that shape, and it's soaked, it's juicy. It's crumbly. Crumbly, and it has a flavor of Saffron, pistachios, and exactly the milk and malai. No, the milk. The milk is too much. It's too much, and it's really good. Mm-hmm. I mean, saffron. Wow. And this Look. one, another one at the bottom. Yeah, he's giving. Whoa! It a <laughs> this is like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for good measure, right? Yeah. This is my favorite Indian food in America so far. <laughs> like straight up, I've had a lot of Indian food in America, Los Angeles, Miami, even yesterday in East Village. But this but is something should. different. You're going to Edison, you'll love it. I then. know, I'm going to Edison tomorrow. Oh, one more bite? Yep. Mm. I'm done. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you so much. Amazing. I love the Raj Kachori with the Ras Malai. Yeah. Stole my heart. <laughs> we are always here for you. Welcome anytime. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. I'll see you next time. Thank, thank you. you. I'm extremely full, but we still have two more things to try. Where are we going? We'll have sugar cane juice and Indian sweet corn right next door to Mitha's okay. Shikal Pan House. This one? Yeah. Oh wow, so this is this restaurant across this little street right here. And we're here at Shital Pan Center. Oh cool, it's a little hole in the wall. So this is the Indian sweet corn. And traditionally you have it in one whole bite, just like. Oh yeah, I've done this multiple times in India. I love it. This gives you energy. It yeah. literally okay. gives you wings. <laughs> mm. Lemon. Hard to talk. You have to leap. You have so many different things inside. Nice and sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yeah. It's the sweet bun. 
meat tapan. We call it meat tapan. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. And they add um, gulkan, which is made of uh, rose petals and sugar. But once you're done, you feel it. You go up. Yeah. Energy level just skyrockets. Yes. I need it right now because it's four o'clock. I'm very tired. And that's how you need to end an uh, Indian meal mm -hmm. with pan. With pan. And here he's gonna make the sugarcane juice. When you walk the streets of India, you'll see guys doing this everywhere. They usually have like a big cart. They have a billion long sugar canes like this, right? This is actually very small. But here, he's putting the same machine, same type of machine, right? So it grinds it and extracts the sugar cane out, right? The juice looks amazing. I can't wait. Obviously, lots of sugar, but this is the best refreshing thing you can ever have on the streets of India in the heat. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. I'm your scout. No way. If it's been here, dude, another subscriber. Yeah. What's your name? Sai. Sai? Yeah. And you're from here? Yeah, New Jersey. Oh. Awesome, man. <laughs> so this video is coming out soon. All right. Plus Thank Edison you. as well. All right. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. You have followers all over the world. Sugar cane juice. Sugar cane yeah. juice. Let's yeah. do it. <sighs> Whoa. So refreshing. I know. We were talking about this earlier. You know, when you're walking around India, you're eating, you know, spicy food, you're out in the super so hot sun, sun and, and you find a guy selling this, you're like, yeah, for five rupee, you know, you get a cup, <laughs> cup and, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's really refreshing wow. and it is so good. It's so good. And it's natural, right? This is the hardest thing to find in America. I actually found a place in Miami, okay. a Cuban place that mm -hmm. has it. Same thing, it has mm -hmm. a machine to extract the juice. But this is just unreal. Unreal, yeah. Unreal. The Indian thing, but uh, they add ginger and lemon to it so that mm. it gets more flavorful. And sometimes they throw like some masala, right? Yeah, the jaljira. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so calm now. Calm? I need a bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this really quick. Now, let's go explore a little more. I know there's a few other shops around here. There's also a grocery store. And this is it, right? The strip is very small. I mean, it's like two blocks, one street. That's it. You got restaurants. You have Patel Brothers. Oh, Patel Brothers is right here. Bro, what up? Yay! Hey! Thanks, man. What are you guys trying today? Oh, man. Too many things. So, so are you guys going to Edison? There are like more Tomorrow, places? tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. So I'm gonna suggest you some place called Mughal. Mughal. Okay. Try that. They got amazing, amazing food there. Thank you, thank, thank you. you so hey, much. hey, thank I will you. Follow you, man. Awesome, awesome. See you every day. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're okay. too much, man. Hey, David. Before we leave, let's go to an appliance store and see what we get. Like all the Indian utensils, and we have Lord Ganesha's here. I mean, you weren't kidding with the Lord Ganesha. I mean, yeah. how many does he have? Huge. Huge. So people buy these and put them in their homes, right? Yeah, in their shrine. Shrine, and like they bring him, mm -hmm. and they celebrate him for like one day, three day, five day, depending on how their rituals are. And in the last 11 day, they put him back in the river or sea, and that's called Visarjan. Okay. And got it. he's he comes back every year. Oh, okay. That's Ganesh Chaturthi. So he comes every year. He's prayed for a certain number of days, and then he's immersed in the sea or river. Okay. Have the Ganesh Chaturthi coming up? We have a lot of different different types of Ganeshas and eco-friendly ones and the decorated ones. Over here we have the pans that they use to make doses, which is a little different, right? So it's more like a flat pan. And the reason for that is just the way they do it, right? Yes, to it make it to perfect. Fried. Rotis, dosas, parathas, and all different kinds of flatbreads. So this is toran, and this is usually placed outside everybody's house or temples. And it's decorative, and it's a kind of symbol, like it's an Indian household, when you see this outside every house. So this place, you can find all the Indian utensils, the cookers you have this to separate for the tally so this is like a you know the bowl right so here you put the few different things so a tally basically means big dish and you put a few different things on it so you have basically um, you know a big sample of stuff yeah. right it's curry savories uh, chapatis and whatnot I love your shop thank you sir thank you I think I'm gonna take one of these for my daughters you don't like girlfriend? I'm married I'm married oh, I'm married okay this guy's a character no. too much too much too much okay so my friend here is charging me only $10 for these two he's giving me basically a gift here thank you sir thank you I so appreciate much for coming and I appreciate for visit no thank you so much my daughter's gonna love this yeah so blue for Sienna and pink for Melina I love it I want some for me no I'm joking yeah I don't know for a man for men what do you want I don't know blue karu, they, have blue they have for men yeah they no have way steel color. you do yeah your hand is big I think so no Oh, that hurt actually. Yeah, I need a I need a pretty big one. I don't know good for you. 
Okay. Woo. You're too kind. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Thank you. Take see care. You, Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. And that's it, my friends. We explored Jersey City's Newark Ave, also known as the Indian Square, Journal Square. Yep. Incredible. What an amazing strip. I mean, it's just like nonstop Indian restaurants, grocery stores, got jewelry shops. You have places like that one we just went to. And it was amazing. We had Papaji. Papaji. We had Raj Kachori. We had eggs, different styles. That is Surti Gotala, Volcano Biryani. Sugar can juice and pan. sweet pan. Sweet pan. Incredible. What an experience. Really some of the most authentic Indian cuisine I've had in the United States of America. Just a quick 30 minute drive from Manhattan. You can also get here with the subway, right? Yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, you can take a part train and you can get on at Journal Square. Just walk for two minutes and you're you are. Exactly. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in New York City. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>